How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Blue Shadow. Welcome back to Mudblood Mondays. And we're in Photon Melodies. And uh, last time was a really fun little feature at about Christmas. It was just a gift for Kasavi. And it was just... It was beautiful. It was wonderful. Uh, so a few things I missed. So I, I kind of identified how the tree looked very much like the brain tank from Alternative and Unlimited. Uh, but someone had pointed out that in those series Kasumi decorates it with stars at Christmas time and so whilst I I hadn't quite made all the connections some of you pointed out the fact that Kasumi then decorated the Christmas tree with stars and put stars on Samika so just so much symbolism man oh this really is a love letter to the fans isn't it just flat out leaving all these easter eggs but not really like drawing a ton of attention to them really just like subtly it's really really good so i'm really happy about that but yeah so uh, we're jumping into whatever the next phase is which apparently looks like something with doing with seashells so i don't know what that's gonna be about i have no idea what time of year this is supposed to be uh, even taking place anyway so there's not really much, not much else to say but to jump right in just see how things go so hope you enjoy Ugh, excited wait you want to go collect seashells Wait, wait. You've never seen the ocean? Even in the other timeline, they lived close up to the ocean for her to see it, I thought. I mean, yes. It, it certainly is. Oh, wait! <gasps> Wasn't that what Takaru promised to do with her? Like, he said, like, oh, like, you've never been to the beach before. I right, let's go and collect seashells. Like, that's totally a promise he made with her that he never got to keep. Aww. That's wonderful. Seriously? Mm. Loud? You mean like because of the waves? Aww. Yeah, because he made the promise with her because they came back from the, like, passing their, like, big test. And, like, he brought up the fact that they got to play on the beach. And she was just like, oh, I don't know what that's like. And he's like, really? Come on, we gotta go do that. O okay. Beaches? Aww. Yeah, no, we hear you loud and clear. Give me just one minute, alright? Hi. Speaker, come here for a sec. Uh, mm. Dude, Cosme Litter has no concept of what the ocean is even like. Sure, baby, but are you saying we should just drop everything and go collecting seashells in the dead of winter? That's suicide. I think it only came up because I asked Kasumi what she wants to do today, since we don't really have any other plans. Hmm. So, I wonder if this is like literally Christmas Day, or is this something between Christmas and New Year's? And wouldn't you know, she actually had somewhere she wanted to go for once. It was just offering to take her to like the mall or something, and she comes back with, let's have a day at the beach in December? Kinda, but like, it's not gonna be nearly as fun. Of course I want to. Why do you think I pulled you aside like this? If Kasumi wants to go, then I want to take her there. But what beach is going to even be remotely temperate at this time of year? Mm. I think I know where this is going. We have the Mitsuru geese here. They kind of can make magic happen, right? And technically in this extra universe, no one's ever visited the desert island that we had flashbacks to during the airsoft incidents. So, you know, Convergence and, you know, like, like the Will of Steinsgate says <laughs> we have to get to that island at some point, right? So, I mean, wh why not? It's not like we can just take her down to the t uh, Tachibana District waterfront either. I, I don't want to shortchange her like that. So Plus, the beaches around here are also filthy. I don't want our first jo uh, ocean experience to be on an overly polluted bay, or in winter for that matter. Heck, it's dreary out there this time of year. It almost makes you want to kill yourself. Uh, no. Hey, Kasvi, just give us one more minute, okay? 
ま、たくそなたは水臭い。一言声をかけてくれれば良いものを。I Hang on, you sure you know what you're doing? Don't get her hopes up for nothing. Alright, come on, Takaru, come on. You know that they don't do anything halfway. You're just setting her up for disappointment. The other thing, too, is like, what's with the barren landscape to do right here? It actually makes it pretty convenient because they could probably actually land an airplane here. How could you possibly live up to the hype? Takaru, come on, it's the, it's the Mitsurugi. Wait, what, 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 why? Oh. あれ上、2回目ともなると手荷物の整理も慣れたものですな。ええ。あら、そういえばあれはどこへ。ああ。Like <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh right. I somehow forgot that money's not an object for these two. But still, where exactly are they planning to take us? Yeah. Yep. 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 <laughs> I think I'm forgetting air support too. Oh gosh. It's beautiful. Look at that. It's like a whole chain of islands, too. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where we're... Long flight? We have a flight. We should be just freaking super excited. Whoa. I just realized we're freaking hitting all the tropes. So we've had, we, we've literally had in quick succession, we've had the, uh, we've had the spa tree trip, like the, like the, like the tropey spa trip. We had the tropey Christmas day, and now we're having the beach episode <laughs> back to back to back. This game, man, it's literally just like, you want fun? Have fun. You want fan service? Have fan service. You want dates? Here's dates. Just have it all. It's all for you. Man, hard to believe it's still morning when the sun's already beating down. I guess the day must be pretty long down there, down here. Hey, how do they have so much tourism already if it's under construction? Or are these just residents that happen to live there? But because it's not open, they effectively get to have like all the benefits of being at a hot tourist destination, but without hardly any tourists. Fetch, man. Look, Kasumi, you can see the ocean. There's the beach. <sighs> Man, you're gonna need to buy a whole new carry on suitcase to fit all the seashells you're gonna find. Celsius Resort SI wa, Genzai Kankesha ni Gente Shta Pre Open Kikan de Gozai Mashte, Mina Sama no Hokanimo, Taizai Shaga Tasui Rashai Mas. Gotcha, okay, so they do have guests as kind of trial runs, but they're very exclusively chosen. Oh, uh, here's another thing interesting. So the Celsius Resort. Unfortunately, that almost ruins it for me because immediately I'm having flashbacks to 4 degrees Celsius, my least favorite character of any visual novel I've ever read so far. He's got competition, but he's still fun by the Lord. Like, I, every time he appeared on the screen, I just hated him. If you ever want to know what I'm talking about, go watch the Steins Gate playthrough. 
従来型のリゾート開発とどのように異なるかと申しますと。Oh, pray do tell. つくよみ、堅苦しい話は良い。Oh, I was kind of, I was kind of excited. かしこまりました。それでは皆様、モニターをご注目ください。She's still so excited about it. Ah?、Uh, yes. <gasps> セルシウスリゾート SI には多くの島が属しておりますが差し当たり2つの島を覚えていただければ最低限不自由されることはございません1つ目は現在バスが走行している島ヒッパーコスです I'm guessing that there's some like wordplay that's going over my head that I'm missing here. So, anybody, if you happen to know what I'm missing, please fill me in. Because, like, Hipparchus, Altair Beach, like, I'm guessing that's referencing something. Altair, what? Wasn't Altair like one of the like code names for one of like the, the missions that was going on on Yokohama Base? Koko Hipparchus Tow wa Tow Shitz no Chu Shin to Nar Shima de Gozai Mash de. ここ It also just hit me. How is Yuko Sensei going to end up in this trip? Because you know she's going to show up somehow. That's kind of cool, actually. その通りです島の一つ一つに星座の名が付けられておりますおお、これは良い場所です。でも、実際に、私は知らないのです。私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私星座は覚えておくと便利だよ。特に海で漂流した時なんかは。Not much of a romantic, are you? 島の東西には広大な砂浜が広がっており、先ほど通過いたしましたのはベガビーチでございます。もちろん海水浴をお楽しみいただけます。Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Altair, Vega, they're some of the brightest stars in the sky. So that actually is like now that, I'm, now that they've made the astrological connection, that is making sense.、Um, I, I, I know there are major stars in, a, in, in constellations, and maybe they're supposed that's the idea. Like, so the, the beach is named after a constellation, like, like the island's named after a constellation, and then like major key points are named after key stars in such constellation, in which case, like, Beetlejuice would be somewhere around here. But yeah, Vega, Altair.、Um, I probably could have told you this off the top of my head when I was actually taking my astronomy course, but it's been a while and I haven't been able to do any stargazing lately.、Uh, maybe this would be Orion then. I, I think Vega is in Orion. Altair would make sense because Altair,、um, I believe, is the name of a famous like,、uh, warrior of some kind. And I think that that was, that that's in, it's not unintentional that that name was associated with Orion. Hokanimo, shopping mall, ya, leisure shit, restaurant, and other things, and other things, and other things, and other things. He's kind of sad though to have a pool and a beach, but the pool looks like it's got water slides, so that could redeem it. Restaurant, there are, Shima no Kinkai de Torel, Shinsen na Gyokai Ru, or Mochita, or Yori, or Dashi, or Dori, or Dori. Can I just go live here, please? なお。Like, we're spoiled for choice. 
How on earth could you ever get bored here? Man, I want to travel. I love traveling in general, and I've been really sad that I can't travel at all lately. And especially because I've been, I've been sitting on a Japan trip for a while now. Like I'm, like I'm ready to go and do it. Like I've got the like the, the we've got the like the the finances set aside for it. Like we we could schedule it. It just has to be end the stupid pandemic, and then we'll be able to travel. Yeah, just judging from what I'm seeing out the window here, I think that'll do just fine. Though I have a hard time believing it'd be a week to see everything. Wow. Oh. oh my gosh. Can this, does anything like this actually exist? I need to know. Yeah. That's freaking... It's disgusting what they're implying with all that. Wow. Last one off, Sir Egg! First! I knew it! I knew she was gonna get here. Konnichiwa! Uh huh. Of course you're all here. Hey, Akade! That's a, I. She is a welcome surprise. Wait, what the? What are you guys doing here? Of course they're all here. What the heck's going on here? Oh gosh, everyone's outfits are so good. <laughs> Wait, you knew about this? I mean, I'm fine with it, but why Yuko said say, can't we just leave her alone for a while so she doesn't ruin everything? Okay, I actually can see the logic of that. For payment with a million percent interest, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, I, it's cool she's here, but why? Okay. Oh, sure, yeah. Wait, did she bring the rest of the Valkyries? I bet that she brought the others here. Like, so we could have all of us hearing it out together. Mm. <sighs> Man, I'm really de I I'm actually getting like really sad because I want to be on a, like I want to go somewhere like this so bad. Yeah, looks like it's gonna be quite a walk. Oh uh, yeah, I I went to Maui once. Like I've actually traveled a little bit, and uh, I went to Ho Ma the Maui Island in Hawaii. Uh, oh, there's there is something about tropical visits for sure. It's so cool. Wow. Oof. Oh, come on. It's a 15 minute walk in the wonderful weather. Just make sure you got sunscreen. <laughs> true. True. Shut up. I think you've got a good point there. Yeah, I guess you're right. You know, it's strange. I should have called a taxi to walk 15 minutes to downtown, but the prospect really doesn't bother me all that much down here. I wonder why that is. Like, the sun's beating down hard, but it's not super muggy. Is it because of the misty ocean breeze? There's not that gross, salty smell to it either. Oh, well, obviously, but I mean, I can accept it. You just can't let it go, can you? you petty little woman. <gasps> yeah, yeah. 
Besides, this church all cost me, not us. Let's take her to time across the bridge so she can really soak in the sights. Now, let's go. Here it is, Kasumi, the Pacific Ocean. Oh, yeah. it's And it's way bigger than that, even. Curvature to the Earth starts, starts becoming a problem out here. Yeah, the ocean's as big as crap, dude. But I got bad news for you. Unless you want to put your life on the line, Makoto style, you're going to want to stay on shore and appreciate its fastest from afar. What? What? Like, oh, who volunteers to come and get lost with me on the ocean? You don't just invite people to crap like that. Oh, I'm sure you do, Yui. Tsukiyomi san, not even breaking a sweat out here. I know there's a cool breeze coming through, but still, in that maid outfit, too. I wonder if that's her official uniform or something. She's so forced, it, so she, uh, so she's forced to wear it down here. Or maybe it's actually a different set made with more breathable material, but it just looks identical. Probably the second. So I take it you've been here before, Yui. I'm sure. But they own it. Come on, they probably scouted this place out with their family. Ooh, so Yui's the brains behind this one? Hmm, not sure exactly what that means, but cool. <laughs> it means that if we're on the Yui track, we're going to be seeing some probably exclusive sites that not even tourists normally get to see here. Ooh, this is going to be promising indeed. I'm, I actually, I, I totally get why the Bitsugis are super excited to get us out here. Like, yes, more Takaru potential time. Oh, come on! You really think High Class Resort like that would have... It is paradise here, isn't it? You serious? Like, if she's so, she's just like, oh! <laughs> Dude, those look amazing! Yeah, this is freaking, like, they're beach bum bungalows. You're, feel free to be loud and shameless as you like. He's like, he's like, I've died. I've died and gone to heaven. You get an all expense paid trip to a gorgeous tropical island and your first question is, where's the yakisoba? She even went on to ask follow-up questions like, is the water here hard or soft? Because the flavor of the noodles changes drastically based on the water hardness, and in Japan it's almost always soft. Didn't that didn't help that Yui had a detailed answer prepared for every question either. It's just fetching noodles, dude. We don't need to know what the concentration of calcium is and ppm, or the ratio to that of the magnesium, or whatever. We're not in chemistry class here. Fet, she really like I we all know she takes yakisoba seriously, but holy cow. Uh, liar! You don't give a crap about food unless it's yakisoba. Huh? Huh? Oh dang! Look at the white vapor trails cutting right across the deep blue sky. Super pretty. Just making these big, bold white streaks. What's wrong? Yeah, yeah, okay. This is this is the first, like, we I've suspected, and you guys have basically confirmed that she has the memories of, like, the other one. Well, we kind of knew that, too, because she, like, of the bursting into tears when she came to the class and everything. But this is another very strong, like, yeah, Kasumi remembers the alternative timeline because they couldn't fly. Huh? Well, sure they can. That's why they're built. That's what they're built for. Though, now that you mention it, you, you seemed pretty on edge for the duration of our flight. Was that your first time flying? Yeah. You're just afraid of flying then? Yeah, it's just freaking. You're from another world. Huh? Hey, I'm sure that Yui worked very hard picking their names. 
I should have taken the mine though, so that's fine. Ouch! After all that, that uh, af and after all that work that gave to into giving everything an astrological theme too. <gasps> Holy crap! I just realized something. If you is the one that dictated the themes here, and she chose an astrolog, I knew I loved you. I knew that there was a reason why I liked her. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh boy. Real life, Yui would be. She'd be quite a catch. I mean, of course she would be, but like. It's even more impressive than before. So, Kagami Yashiro. Hi. Roommates for life, huh? Antara ni koshitsu ataita te gyaku ni tsumaranai de shou? Sore tomo, otoko de mo tsurekomu ki? Marimu mitai ni. Ha? So, so, marimu tara, kondo koso kare shi getto da ze. Yep. That looked a little too real of a reaction. Let it go for the throat. <laughs> yeah? What is exactly what and what does that entail exactly? <laughs> Freaking fourth wall break. Haven't you played the visual novel before? <laughs> Calling us out. Sorry, what? Suzumiya, too, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, seriously? Seriously, dude? Uh, yeah? Uh,やっと。4号室は青峰さんと柏木さん。5号室は夜井さんと玉瀬さん。7号室はジングージ先生と光月先生。7号室は王健先生。そして9号室が白金くん。Oh, you... I'm feeling set up here. Oh yeah, everyone pair off in rooms except for Takaru. He gets a room all to himself. Mr. Walken too, but he's the only other guy here. Makes perfect sense to put them together, but we're not. Because, you know, priorities. Wait, I'm in a room by- I'm all by myself? What the heck? I'm not getting stuck with Mr. Walken again? Oh yeah, because that was totally gonna happen. It's totally you already made that joke. I mean, like, freaking sweet! <laughs> so, wait, are you saying you specifically laid out the rooms like this just so I'd have the freedom to hook up with someone? <laughs> it's self season! <laughs> Go get them, girls! We're gonna die. <laughs> if they don't kill each other, we're definitely gonna get killed. Or we're gonna get a secret harem ending. We'll have the two. Matakuda. Yeah. Oi. Oi. Dayo ne. Matakmo Kozuki sensei te ba. Demo. Sumika chan tachi no seneka ni henna oura ga mieru yona. Okay, so someone's gonna die. Doushitan daro ne. Ano me wa emono o nerau yajuu no sore ni mo nita. Oh dear. Battle plans. Oh, that sounds lovely. Oh, heck yeah! Fresh seafood, baby! Critics de Sud. So it sounds French. I'm not sure if they, I, I'm not sure if I can pick up on this like this t name meaning per se. Oh, it's all covered. You thought you'd have to pay for things. <laughs> this is the Mitsurugis we're talking about. Oh, 
域の機内で瞳の画像を撮影させていただきましたが、当施設ではそれを利用したアイリス認証システムを導入しております。Beautiful. Oh, so like we stare into the machine whenever it's time to pay, it scans our eye and charges us directly? その通りです。もちろん皆様が直接請求されることはございません。こちらからご招待させていただいたのですから。I'd be crying of happiness. 本当すごいでも、ミキどうして知らなかったのかな Oh, wait, so you guys didn't actually look into a screen for it? Oh, that's kind of creepy. あ、ミキさんごめん眠ってたから勝手に撮影してもらっちゃったんだ。That's even creepier. 忘れてた。Dude, that's kind of creepy, honestly. So it is pretty amazing that she didn't wake up from having her eye peeled open. She must be a seriously heavy sleeper, which I probably should have guessed, given how she's almost always running late for class. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. Wait, so nobody pays for anything here? Wow. That's freaking awesome. But it should be the opposite because it means that even if someone tried to rob you, they wouldn't be able to rob anything from you. Oh, don't be such a pleb. <laughs> That does pose a problem for the whole like people visiting us issue. ドアの前に認証用の装置が設置されておりますのでそれを覗いていただくことで解除されます。Interesting. So can you lock it? <笑>施錠はドアが閉まると自動的に行われますので特に意識されることはございません。This place could make you real complacent real fast if you just get used to it. Dang, so there's basically no way to even lock yourself out. そういうの助かるな。私オートロックって苦手で。See, Kashiwagi, she's, she's like me. Like, she's, so, she's the real person here. She's like, because that's totally a thing. Nen no tame ni mon shiange te okimas to, o heya ni wa sono heya ni taizai sare ru mina sama no hoka, toke s h i o n i ya, to s e t no i c h i b no mono ga n s t e k i n yo ni nat te o i m a s Mm hmm. But we won't be able to get into each other's rooms, right? Hai. Mon shiwake ari masen ga sono tori des. But she might. <laughs> nah, it's all good. Kono hoka, Moshimo Tonai de Nanika Gozai Mastara, Kotei Nai no Denwa, Ketai Denwa, Moskua, Koshu Denwa Nite Sogo Service Made Goren Naka Kudasai. Freaking cool, man. So they do a Kaisan to Itashimasu. Hi. Hell yeah. Let's get a look at this place. Whoa, that's so awesome. It's Iris authentication, dude? This is some sci fi crap. If only there was like a big hydraulic whoosh and the door opened on its own, that'd be so sick. But anyway. Oh, this place. Dang, this place is super nice. Went from sci fi straight to tropical paradise. I like how it's laid out so there's not a ton of sun leaks in, making the place all nice and cool and dim. Not that I know anything about interior design, of course. Man, I can't believe we ended up here just because Cosme said she wanted to go to the ocean. But hey, I'm not complaining. Wait a minute, my luggage is already in here. How the heck did they get in here so fast? They would have had to pass us on the bridge, right? Well, whatever. Let's see here. So it's about 10 o'clock, and she said that we're not meeting back up again until lunch at 12 30 on、uh, Hipparacus Mount Island. So I guess I've got a couple hours to kill. Might as well go take a look around. Alright, l let's spontaneous island adventure begin. Fetch, man. Holy! What? What am I looking at? Select your destination. What the? Oh my gosh. Okay, so you pick people to spend time with, and then we have another phase where we're gonna spend and pick another, like, where we're gonna go and, like, who we pick to spend time with. <sighs> what? What is this game? What is this become? It's beautiful! Mwah! Oh, I got the chills. Okay. Well, we're going all in on our choice here, but like, I have to admit, like, I was talking to a friend yesterday. I was talking about, like, how tough the decision was between Mei, Yui, and Kashiwagi. Like, oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna have to play all their routes, but, um, 
I think my next one is actually going to be Kashiwagi just for a change of pace because the Maya and, and Yui's are going to be very similar since they tend to be tied together in the storylines. It's just like obviously there's divergence between the two of them. Um, but like I definitely want to see what the Kashiwagi route is going to be like. But I mean we're going all in on our choices so let's do it. Oh my gosh this game this game. Hey you little liar. What, lying? Yeah, I would have been a little worried if the person who came up with the whole auto-locking system just left the door wide open. <laughs> Not just her, I'm pretty sure you would have reacted the same way. Watch, now she'll say, hmm, what do you mean by that? <laughs> he knows them way too well. See, I can read her like a book. Thanks, but seriously though, why have you ever been someone's so, been somewhere sketchy enough to warrant an auto locking door? I know. So why do you need the crazy security measures? That's my point. I agree. And just because you make a place really, really safe doesn't mean that your like people aren't used to be feeling comfortable. Like, like. I don't know where I live and how I've grown up. Like I've always had friendly neighbors, but I also don't feel comfortable leaving my door unlocked. Like it's just the way I grew up. So being able to come to an island that automatically locks my door, like that's part of like 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 personal comfort, personal like relaxation. Like if I if I didn't think I could lock my door because I just like presumed safe, like I would actually find that more stress inducing. So you always right on point here. Agreed. Alright, I guess that makes some sense. Sounds like you two have put a fair bit of thought into this after all. No, why do you ask? I can't like spending time with you? Yeah, that's more than enough time to get settled in. I'm already in adventure I'm, I'm already in adventure mode, my dude. Absolutely. Pretty much. So, what do you guys have to in here? Oh, yeah? They're actually unpacking all their own bags, huh? Huh? Technically, we hadn't got there yet. Oh, so that's how you want to play, huh? Sorry, not quite. The correct answer was, oh, then I guess they must be pack must they must have packed light this time around. Yeah, because you two tried to bring like a half load of stuff on your uh, on the down level when we went to the mountains. You even tried to set up a supply line with choppers and whatnot, remember? Yeah, they literally have everything here already. You sure? Well good. At least they're finally grown up a little. See, people can learn to adapt if you just give them a chance. <laughs> Three years. Mm. Yeah, this is where I'm coming when the world ends. Uh, what? Tsukuyomi-ni-wa-bekkan-ni-taizai-suru-yo-ni-to-yuwaretta-no-da-ga-na. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's, of course they would have an old, their own mansion here. Right, somehow I forgot this place is just like one big playground for you guys. And who need to pack all their belongings for a stroll through their own backyard? Nope. Not really. Just gonna wander around a bit, taking the sights. Absolutely. freaking What, you mean the beach right outside? Yeah, Ah, oh, gotcha. Why that one? Is there something special there? Oh, well, I was just wondering if you had something specific in mind you wanted to do there. Dangerous uh, phrase to be like, yeah, something in mind you want to do? They were like, well, you, but then uh, they probably wouldn't say that. They're a bit too classy. 
その時の流れに任せようか。Ooh, I like how they could be spontaneous. I'm, I'm a prolific planner, but sometimes spontaneity is good. So, like, I get another thing why I, I think Yui is very much a plan oriented person. So, she and I would just, we, we at least get along in that regard. All、oh, right, sorry. You're probably tired of having to do all the planning for us all the time, huh? I don't know, man. Like, some, some people like, like me love doing that. Obviously, you want to make plans for spontaneity, but that's the thing. It's like, you, like if you want to plan things right, this sounds so stupid coming from me, but it's seriously like, it's how I go through things. You plan things right, you plan spontaneity. You plan time to just wander, but you plan it. You say, like, this is what we're doing then. And then you also use it as a buffer at the end of the day just to modify as you go. So, because most often plans take longer than you anticipate, even with like sub up, even if you plan for sub optimal conditions. So, thus it's good to have a buffer at the end of your day, but then make sure that you have like a backup idea for like what to do if you have the extra time.、Uh, yeah, I, I, I know it might sound crazy, but like it's literally how I approach like every day, and it makes things a lot less stressful. But at the same time, like, that's probably the scariest thing about my potential trip to Japan. Like, I'm going in pretty blind. Like, I can look at guides and stuff, but, like, I'm not going to be able to read signs. I'm not going to be able to, like, I'll barely be able to ask for directions if I need it. And so, like, how am I supposed to plan that trip? But, like, I'm too excited to really worry about that too much. But yeah, I'm a prolific planner when it comes to this stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I know you didn't. Anyway, you don't, have to you don't have to come up with a game plan just for my sake. You guys just take it easy and I'll see you there. Alright, I think I'm gonna head out. Yep. Not like wandering around by myself is gonna be any fun, though. I don't know why I turned down Maya's invitation. Oh, is this so I can like change my mind and go back? Okay, okay, okay. We are going to experiment right here. Because I'm guessing if I say, eh, whatever, I'm going to come back if it doesn't just give me like a choice again. But I'm going to, okay, but, uh, because like I do want to like change my mind and go, but I want to see what happens. Yeah, whatever. I guess I'm going to drop by later if I feel like it. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. So if I follow that, then maybe like Vega Beach being unknowns is those two. And like, that's the way you can kind of figure that stuff out. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, I definitely think I'm going to take her up on that. You know what? I changed my mind. wonder if those two are still around. What the? Sukiyomi! Takeru-sama, Moshiwake gozaimasenga. Tadaima Meya sama to Yuhi sama wa okigai chu de gozaimasu. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> well, what's the matter? Ato. あと <laughs> Alright, so Kiyomi, calm down. I think you're almost a little too invested in this.、Um, but there's also no way you're saying this accidentally. Because, come on, Sukiyomi. We know she wouldn't have an outburst like this for no reason. Except for uh, uh, Makoto, I think. She always was obsessed with Makoto. And for all the fetch! Oh, gosh! <laughs> Bank bank deposit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, Suki, you have me, son? Scashi Nagara, Ima Takeru Sama Otoshi Surunova, Ikura Nande Mosasuga Nimazuku, Yahari Watakshi no Chizon to Omise de Kirinova, of Tari no Chibusaga Gen Kaide Gozaimaste, Sorejo to Nanimasto, Koreva Mo, Ariena, you to Ricoste, Tu Ariena to Mosma Soka. So, can you me, please, could you just let me talk for a sec? Oh, 
I could not have read half of that stuff online. Like, oh, you two, please don't look too deeply into that sentences. Those sentences, that sentences. I, my English is just gone. My brain's switching off. Well, if it makes you feel any better, all the doors and windows here have automatic locking mechanisms, so I couldn't have just walked in on them even if I wanted to. Had to hate to throw a wrench in your little fantasy, but yeah. <laughs> She'd be like, oh, silly. You're going to be allowed anywhere you want to go. <laughs> yeah, I kind of let my imagination get the better of me too sometimes. It's cool. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> huh? That's disturbing. That's even more disturbing. Uh, could you explain to me what you mean by that? <laughs> I was like leaning on the, uh, the like the, the the space bar button. It was making it flicker. I'm sorry about that, but. Should you want to sleep with one or both of them? Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh. Oh, I hadn't even thought of that as a possibility. Oh, I don't know if I like that though. I don't know. I mean, like, okay, to be fair, having multiple participants in such activities is like, it's like a fun fantasy, but for one thing, the logistics just seems off to me. I think the whole idea is a little much, especially because like the whole point is about like experiencing togetherness and like, you know, supporting each other and making things enjoyable. As long as everyone's okay with that, that's fine. But I just don't see a ton of people being willing for that to, for that to be the case. And frankly, I'm not even sure if I'd be super down for it if I was like really honest. Like I said, it's a fun fantasy, but I don't know, there's something about just the one-on-one -on -one that, like, I think would lose a lot of appeal if you were throwing somebody else into that mix. So, yeah, I don't know. If I were even given that option, I'm not sure if I would take it. But the- but the Yui and Maya, though... They make me pause! Ha 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 Yes, yes. Yes, yes, having a lovely time. Lovely, lovely time. Yes, ma'am. I don't even have to see them all. I'm like, yep, they look great. Oh, uh, well, well I mean. No, no! Naturally, they have multiples. <laughs> oh, I cut her off, I'm sorry. Hey, don't put words in my mouth! Yes, 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 so wait. Yeah, spacebar does. I, I'd forgotten the spacebar, like, makes the text go away. But yeah. Whew. Yeah, actually. Can't just say that I think I'd like to hang out with you guys after all. Oh my gosh. Uh, calm down, girls, please. Whoa. Jeez, you guys, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, well, I've got to go grab a few things first. Wait for me, will you? Yeah, what's with those two? And what's with Tsukuyomi? Okay, I gotta say, I was pretty cute to see how excited they just got for my green to come with them. Though I suppose they're always getting excited over little things like that. Man, I really am living the dream, aren't I? I mean, I know I'm a little late in having this epiphany, but... Yeah, and Yui are the heiresses of one of the richest families in the world, dude. I bet there's not a single other guy in the, on, the, on the earth living the same crazy thrill ride of life I've been living the past few months. And the girls themselves? We're talking pretty faces, all the right proportions, and personality-wise. Oh, well, okay, certain aspects of their personalities definitely concern me a little. But all in all, I've got no complaints. 
You better not have any good complaints. I'm not sure what part of the personalities that you're referring to in this case. I don't, I'm using a lot of quotes today. I don't know what's up with that. But come on, man. Like, their deficiencies, as you're calling them, is simply a lack of experience of being a normal person. But you're helping them see that. But frankly, like, is that really the most important part of a personality? Is, like, whether or not they know how to behave like a typical person? Dude, thank you. I think you're being a little picky here. And now we're about to head down to the beach in our swimsuits on a beautiful tropic island. Who in their right mind would turn down an opportunity like this? Now then. Cast off the outer shell, said it in a bad whisper. There we go. <laughs> Swim trunks mode, activate with a cool robot voice. I wish I could do that, but I don't have a voice changer. And up we go. Man, swim trunks are definitely comfy and all, but I feel like you've always got to adjust the crotch area just a bit. There, perfect. He's so freaking true. Like, come on, you've got to admit, like, there's always that, like, post uh, putting on swim suit, like, adjust you got to get for. Space pilot captain, grab up. No, no. Gah! What the heck are you guys doing here? How? How? How long? What, what did you see? <sighs> Talker, you idiot! Are you kidding me? <sighs> oh, all the turns have tabled! <laughs> How are you not even... How are you not even blushing? Oh, shut up. Listen, uh, guys. Hi? I need you to swear an oath to me that you will never break the... For, that you'll never break for the rest of your lives. Thanks for getting a little... Okay, okay. You just swear that you will never speak a word about this to anyone. <laughs> I'm begging you. Por favor. If Sabika class rep and Yamane found out about this, I'd never be the little bit down. Or Kashiwagi even. They'd give me crap about it for the rest of my life. Oh, thank goodness. You, you mean it? Oh yeah, I'm sure you're very happy to do that. Actually, if you guys could erase it from your memories too, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, oh man. Yeah, I guess probably not. <laughs> yeah, sure thing. Man, I really need to learn to act my age, even in private. I mean. Gorbon? Really? What am I, Ted? Ugh, I never do that crap back home, so what gives? Maybe I'm just getting caught up in the free and easy vibes of this tropical island paradise, the spontaneity of summer, if you will. Well, okay, I guess it's technically winter, but you know what I mean. Uh... Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you think? Hey, what are you doing now? <laughs> Please, no! You better not say for posterity's sake. If the next word out of your mouth is posterity, I'm going to die. Do not! was that? Okay, we're on a ferry. You know what, though? This is the perfect place to end, I think. I was gonna, I was thinking we are gonna go to the beach, but that's enough excitement for today, so. Oh, my heart is so happy. <laughs> this has been the best episode. Oh my gosh, I said that every, I think every Altered Fable episode, I just, it gets better and better, but ah. Oh, my cheeks are gonna be so sore. I love it. Man. Alter Fable is the best thing ever made. <laughs> You'd never, you you have to play through Alternative to enjoy it this much. But oh my gosh, it's just, it's 
a work of art. It's amazing. I'm just, I'm enjoying every second of this. I hope you guys are too. Man, I'm gonna be super depressed when we have to jump into the alternative side stories that are after this, because gosh darn it. I got, I know, I'm, I'm really happy we did this because it breaks up like all the depression of the alternative universe. And I didn't want to put those back to back from like Photon Melody, uh, Photon Flowers and then oh, into Photon Melodies, but aw. Oh. I'm gonna be so sad when this is done. I get to play it for a while longer, I suppose. I get to continue enjoying the shenanigans. But yeah, we are going to just have to take a break and just enjoy what has transpired. And until next time. So thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you to the patrons who help make this channel even better. They're they're directly supporting us and like they get to have access to the patron cast, which is my personal account of like Q and A, and also just kind of like what's going on behind the scenes type of video that I do every month, just kind of let them know what's going on. And last month they actually helped me set up the current set, set uh, system that we're doing, where I'm live streaming every Wednesday for Soda Five Royal, and then uh, after I accumulate a little bit of like probably about two weeks worth of episodes, that I make a kind of cut down version that I post on into the main playlist so you, like you can get the sparks notes version where you just get the highlights or you can watch the full things and participate if you ever want to if you happen to be there live so i hope you look into that uh, i'd love to see you guys around i'd love to see you comments like just tell me what you think let me know what you like what you don't like what but what paths you enjoyed the most which paths you wish i clicked on that i didn't click on all of it is so just delicious i'm so happy <laughs> Man, this is so good. I can't wait to continue and see what else, this, what other shenanigans we're going to go down, get down to in this series. But for now, we will have to say goodbye. So thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for joining me on the channel. As always, it's a pleasure having you here. And until the next video, watch me. I'll see you next. I'll see you there.